Chorus Box by Dr. Sangeeta Roy. So let's look into what she has in her Pandora's box. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is one of those typical o uh, atypical OT days when things keep on going bad in one case. Uh, so I opened one such on this particular day. A 65 years old female patient was shifted to my OT with a decentered IR. I planned to do an anterior vitrectomy and scleral fixation of the existing IR. one haptic was exteriorized and the assistant was asked to hold the haptic. The assistant pulled it a little hard and the haptic came out. Then a superior tunnel was made and the iron was explanted. So I had no other option, I had to do a vitrectomy to remove the haptic. A 25 gauge NT was made to the existing squirrel wound as it was such hypotenuse that I could not put any other port. As soon as I entered the vitreous cavity, I saw vitreous hemorrhage. So thorough vitrectomy was done. As it is, we are scared and the music is scaring us further. <laughs> While doing a peripheral vitrectomy with indentation, I saw a CTR. So try with me to remove the CTR. and the CTR was removed with a rotatory movement. So a complete vitrectomy was done. Even after 360 degree indentation, I could not find the broken end of the haptic for which I actually started the Pasquana vitrectomy. And then I planned to put an iris to a lens. So the day was finally getting over for me. But while putting the iris claw lens, the haptic of the lens broke. Can you just... So I took out yep. the lens. I'll just... Claw lens, this time successfully. Yeah.
Yeah, and Thank we you. can have uh, Dr. Shitesh Kumar and a uh, quick question in between. Yeah, that was a real long day, Dr. Rai. Uh, can we request Dr. Jalali, uh, Madam, to give her comments? On yeah, two things that, you know, we should always be prepared because we found two, three IULs, two, three CTR. Yeah. So you never know what people have done. They keep on putting, then something I goes down, they put that. again, okay? Just yeah. don't damage the retina, it's fine. We can remove oh, the, yeah. my problem happens that if I remove one IUL, then I can build it for IUL explantation. Now, when I remove the second IUL, which is more difficult, I can't build for second IUL explant. So I build that as intraocular foreign body removal. I don't want to not build it. Okay. Now, okay. I wanted to ask that final haptic, could you find? No. Yeah, so maybe either it is caught in some CD process, which is okay, it's not going to cause a problem, or it got eaten away during the vitrectomy, which is also fine. And I think if there's a tiny bit left of this material because it is inert, one can leave it alone as long as it is not. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but we don't know if it floats and it goes and hits somewhere else. Yeah, it was bleeding. That's the so problem. So if on the table we find something, we have to. Right. I'll add one Thank quick you. question. Uh, did you uh, analyze why did the haptic go off? Why did it? Why did your haptic break? Yeah. No, no. The what you did, angular. you did not notice it when you were externalizing the haptic. Your one uh, end opening for sap was holding the optic haptic junction. You were holding entire manu one minute entire and manipulation was going on and then you beautifully externalized the haptic. Now what happened when you gave it to your assistant to hold it, probably she was not holding, he or she was not holding it in the correct plane and must be, there must be some torsion and it gave way from the optic haptic junction because there was already a kink at that point with that end opening forces yeah. because of the undue pressure which must have come up in your handling. So it Thank was not the that assistant. Yeah, that was a great point. Thank you. Second and thing, Shitesh, if you, you want to uh, prevent Yes. Second thing, if you want to give your uh, a haptic to the assistant, the best thing is uh, if you have, if you are using iris hooks, you have those, uh, 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 those, uh, uh, yeah, those, those sleeves, silicon sleeves. You can put it on that haptic; it goes nowhere. If you don't want to even spend money on that, uh, you can use the IV set. You can cut that IV set into small, uh, you know, uh, parallel that thing, and you can just insert it into the haptic; it goes nowhere. 